Hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome to TESOL Kuwait 2023 Annual Conference. My name is Abdul Latif al -Shati. I'm the co-chair of this year's conference, and I'm pleased to have you all attending the first day of the 2023 conference. So to start with, um, please help me welcome Ms. Ann Newman, the current TESOL Kuwait president. She previously served as the organization secretary. Ms. Ann? Okay, thank you so much. So glad that you're here. And uh, I want to welcome you on behalf of TESOL Kuwait. I'm just so delighted that you have joined us for our 2023 hybrid conference. It's being sponsored by Kuwait Technical College in Cambridge. We're especially honored to be joined today by Dr. Anwar El Kendri, who is representing KTEC, and Ms. Karen Ryan from Cambridge. I want to acknowledge our guests from schools and universities here in Kuwait. And it's a further pleasure to welcome you teachers who are joining us today, particularly those who have prepared papers and workshops. Our goal is to provide an enriching and enjoyable experience for all participants and to promote professional development for English language teachers. The theme for this year's conference is language and education in a hybrid world, opportunities and obstacles. We're confident that you'll find the sessions and activities at this conference to be both informative and inspiring as you navigate your way through this hybrid world. We look forward to engaging and, and uh, to an engaging and educational event. In closing, I want to thank TESOL Kuwait's Executive Board, Cambridge, and KTEC faculty, administrators, and staff for their hard work to make this conference a success. I want to especially thank those of you of the three, over more than 3,000 people who have registered from over 50 countries to be with us over these two days. I thank you for being a part of this TESOL Kuwait conference. Thank you. Abdul Latif. Thank you very much, Anne. We highly appreciate your hard work and dedication to TESOL Kuwait 2023. Um, now, I would like to introduce Karen Ryan. She is Learning and Assessment Consultant at Gulf for Cambridge University Press and Assessment. She holds a bachelor's degree in psychology from the University of Southampton, CELTA and Delta qualifications, and an MBA from the University of Strathclyde, Karen has more than 20 years experience working with the, in the education sector in the Middle East, including working as an English language teacher, academic manager, and as a project manager and consultant supporting the delivery of ALT partnership projects with the UAE Ministry of Education and the regional research project on graduate employability. Karen has also worked in marketing and business development roles for GEMS Education, Beacon House, schools system and Strathclyde Business Schools. Welcome, Karen. Thank you very much, uh, Abdul Latif. That's uh, uh, very kind of you. Am I, I don't know whether I'm, um, whether I need to do something to, uh, to get the spotlight or? I think you have already. I have, yeah. ah, marvelous, marvelous. Well, thank you so much. So, well, good morning, everybody. So, um, as Abdul Latif says, my name's Karen Ryan, and I'm the English Learning and Assessment uh, Consultant for the Gulf um, at Cambridge University Press and Assessment. And I'd like to wish, wish each one of you, wherever you are in the world, a very warm welcome to this ninth annual TESOL, uh, TESOL Kuwait Conference. Um, this is the second year that Cambridge has sponsored TESOL Kuwait. And I'm delighted to be with you today to represent Cambridge as part of this exciting hybrid conference. Um, 
First, I'd like to thank TESOL Kuwait President Dr. Anne Newman and the conference chair Rowan El Kandari for inviting Cambridge to sponsor. Um, it's an honor and a privilege for Cambridge to be partnered again with such an illustrious teachers association who are doing so much to support professional learning and development in Kuwait and the wider region. And it's also an exciting time for Cambridge University press and assessment as we have just uh, celebrated our first anniversary as a single organization. Um, this means uh, for us that Cambridge University Press and Assessment English um, has brought together our publishing and our assessment um, wings with a desire to generate even greater educational impact. And in working together, we can harness the benefits of digital learning and create a future of delivering the best learning experiences for teachers and learners. This means for us creating better support for teaching, more confidence to learning, more assurance to assessment and greater innovation from research. We continue to be part of the University of Cambridge and we exist to further its mission, which is to contribute to society through the pursuit of education, learning and research at the highest international levels of excellence. For Cooper English, language is at the heart of being human, and we believe that English can unlock a lifetime of experiences. Together with teachers and our partners, we are here to engage and inspire millions of people throughout their learning journey to help them prove their skills to the world. And with this in mind, lending our support to this international conference and contributing to the professional development of teachers in Kuwait and the wider region is key to our purpose as an organization. And consequently, we're delighted to be sponsoring five of the keynote speakers at the conference. First, we're proud to bring our author, Scott Thornbury, whose opening keynote, The Twilight Zone, between grammar and Lexis is bound to be full of insights that will inspire and amaze you. And later this morning, my colleague Kasia Broska, who's our digital transformation expert in Cambridge, she will be looking at how to engage students in meaningful digital interactions. And then later this afternoon, our regional senior performance and sales support manager, Darren Perrett is delivering a talk on aligning our tests to the CEFR. Uh, for tomorrow, our Regional Professional Learning and Development Manager, Peter Lucantoni, who many of you will, will remember from last year, is giving us a recipe for teacher learning. And later in the day, our Regional Head of Recognition and Assessment, Dr. Hisham Al Sagbini, is talking on the theory of learning-oriented assessment and its application in the classroom. And last but not least, to round off the conference, Peter Lucantoni will be moderating a panel discussion and summative recommendations before the closing ceremony. So I hope that our speakers will give you a taste of what Cambridge University Press um, and assessment brings to English language learning and teaching and will contribute to the rich professional development opportunities on offer provided by the conference's other plenary speakers and the wide range of concurrent sessions. And with that in mind, I would like to close by wishing you all an insightful, engaging and inspiring conference. Thank you. Thank you very much, Karen. Now I would like to invite Dr. Anwar al Kandiri, the head of the Scientific and Research Committee at Kuwait Technical College. Welcome, Dr. Anwar. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for hosting us here today. It's really given me a great pleasure to extend to you all a very warm welcome on behalf of Kuwait Technical College, KTEC. Before we uh, kickstart the conference, I would like to express my gratitude toward TESOL for this opportunity uh, to be part of this great conference in collaboration and sponsorship with Cambridge University of Cross. 
uh, this gratitude also to you all who contributed to this event in order to make it successful. Um, to be honest, uh, at KTEC, we have two majors, uh, business and management, and with sub-majors, MIS and marketing. And also we do have the information technology IT with uh, other three sub-courses. All courses are taught in English. Therefore, we found this conference highly beneficial. Uh, we at KTEC are keen to enhance and develop our new understanding of different types of communication and other cultures by teaching English as a foreign language. And uh, in fact, teaching English to speakers of other languages, such as in our case, most of them speak uh, their Arabic is the first language, it's really important. Uh, well, as I told you, all our educational programs are in English. It's also international language of communication. And actually, in both private and public sector here in Kuwait, there is a demand for professionals with strong language skills who can work in, in, in uh, a diverse cultural environment. So teaching English for, uh, for, as a foreign language or for speakers of other languages is a very a practical branch uh, that we in KTEC uh, focus and would like to, to help all of our facilities, students and all, all community, in fact, to put the skills uh, to, to practical use in the world of work. So today, Castle experts and Cambridge uh, expertise uh, will help us all to understand this uh, language learning and teaching approach. Uh, but I really would like to just remind you that um, for those who are in Kuwait, we are looking forward to welcome you in person tomorrow at KTEC campus. And this is all from my side. Thank you for being such a patient listener and hope you all have a great and fruitful day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Anwar, and thank you for having us this year at your college. Um, I'd like to once again welcome you all and please join us with the first keynote speaker, Dr. Scott Thurmbury at 10.30. Please go to the website and click on the link for the Zoom meeting. It will start at 10.30. So I think I'll leave you now for 15 minutes and we'll come back with Dr. Scott Thurmbury at 10.30.